Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC, and today we are showing you the Drop Frame Pro Helmet from Fox Racing. All right, everyone, thank you so much for checking in. So today we have the Drop Frame Pro Helmet from Fox Racing. If you're shopping for a mountain bike helmet, Fox has a lot of great options. They have their Pro Frame Helmet. They've got the Drop Frame. They have their Speed Frame Pro and the Speed Frame. Now, where the Drop Frame Pro kind of fits in their lineup, there's kind of three reasons why, if you were looking at, say, this versus the Speed Frame Pro or the Speed Frame, the other open face helmets from Fox, I'm wondering, well, should I go with those or go with the Drop Frame? Here's the three big reasons why you might want to side with the Drop Frame. First of all, looks. There's a lot of people who just like the styly look of the Drop Frame Pro because it is a pretty unique looking helmet. The other thing is going to be just coverage. So compared to just a normal open face helmet, the Drop Frame is going to give you more coverage. It's gonna come down a little bit farther in the back and of course you can see that it drops down on the sides and gives you coverage on the ears. So if you're a rider that's gonna be doing a little bit more aggressive trail riding, mix it with some little downhill and stuff, then yeah, maybe you're gonna want a little bit more coverage. And the third reason that you might look at the Drop Frame Pro and decide this is one for you is, as you can see, you can rock a set of goggles with it. Because it drops down farther in the back, you have it come over the ears, you now have the ability, if you want, to wear a set of goggles with this helmet easily. So those are kind of the three sign or, you know, standout features of the Drop Frame Pro if you were comparing it to, say, the Speed Frame Pro. With that being said, let's just go through and talk about this thing, some of the other features, so you know exactly what you're getting here. Price point on this helmet, you're gonna be right around 200 bucks. Here's an important thing to know, sizing, okay? I try this on in a size medium, which is what I wear in the Speed Frame Pro helmet from Fox. This thing runs small. I tried this on, I had another rider try it on who also wears medium. We both said that thing is just too small. So I grabbed a size large and I put the large on and the large is what I would buy. And another thing on top of that is that no matter what size you get, Fox does include, I've got some right here, additional liners with these helmets to help you kind of fine tune the fit a little bit. So even with the size large that I tried on that fit me, I even still went to a thinner, this piece right here that goes around the brow, I even went to the thinner piece in the helmet to make it fit even a little bit bigger to get the fitment just right for me. But once I was able to do that and fine tune it, which I think is great that they include the extra pads, I got the fit of a large just right. It was great for me. So it does run small, so I would recommend going up one size. I even confirmed that with Fox. I asked him about it and they said, yes, we recommend going up one size. They do run a little bit small. We do have a fit guarantee though. If you buy this helmet, if you're not happy with how it fits, you can send it back in brand new, unused condition. If you need a different size, we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange to make sure you do get the size and the fit that you are looking for. Now, with this helmet, some of the other nice features. Venting, obviously, with this helmet is going to be huge. So you've got eight big bore vents letting air come through. And then you can see on the back, you've got seven exhaust vents to get that, that air out the back. Now, I've actually, was, when I was talking to the guys at Fox, they kind of mentioned that this helmet yeah, you could say it's gonna be slightly warmer than say the Speed Frame or the Speed Frame Pro, which is just a more standard open face helmet because you are getting more coverage. But they said a lot of people on e-bikes are really liking this helmet because of the fact that with e-bikes, you could argue that you're not exerting yourself quite as hard most often. You're going a little bit faster, even uphill. So with that, they're saying that cooling's not gonna be as big of a deal um, with the e-bikes as you would a standard mountain bike. But it, with any case, so you can see the cutouts in, on this thing are massive. So as far as it being a whole lot hotter than their Speed Frame Pro, I really wouldn't be too worried about that. But the visor on this helmet, this is one thing I wanna talk about, it's not adjustable. Now for me personally, I haven't ridden this helmet, so I can't say if I'm with or against that. But for me, I just know from my personal experience, mountain biking, I like the ability to drop my visor to block the sun. So it is a fixed visor. You got the fid lock snap down here on the chin strap, which I also do really like. A lot of mountain bike helmets are using this now. So it's magnetic, just pops right into place, which is nice. So with one hand with the glove on, you can undo the chin strap and then just pop it into place. Very simple to do. Now on the inside, so you have their multi-density Verisorb EPS liner. So EPS stands for expanded polystyrene. And what Verisorb is, is they put different densities in that EPS to absorb energy and absorb impacts at different speeds. So you're gonna get that firmer density for those hard impacts, a little bit softer density for those little bit slower speeds. Also on top of that, you have the MIPS liner system. So MIPS stands for Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. This MIPS liner system we've been seeing for years now in mountain bike and motocross helmets. And what it's designed to do is help slow down 
or mitigate rotational forces to the head and to the brain. When you have an accident, you're not always going straight up and down. You're going to be going forward or back or side to side. And what can cause a lot of those head injuries is the abrupt stop because your head stops inside the helmet, your brain keeps going. So what you essentially want to do is decouple or separate your head from the helmet. So when you do have that angular crash, the helmet hits the ground, but your head will continue to rotate inside. That stops that really traumatic sudden stop inside the helmet. So it's slowing down and mitigating those rotational forces. That's what the MIPS liner system is there to do. So again, you're gonna see that here in the Drop Frame Pro, they have in the Pro Frame. They can see behind me, that also has MIPS. The Speed Frame Pro from Fox also, which is their standard open phase, also does have the MIPS liner system. So again, with the Drop Frame Pro, like I said earlier, kind of three big reasons why you would maybe want this over one of the other helmets. A little bit more coverage, styly, and again, you can wear a set of goggles. So if you're gonna be doing you know, aggressive downhill runs, riding in dusty conditions, you wanna wear goggles, but maybe not a full face helmet, well, that's who the Drop Frame Pro is going to be for. If you do have questions or comments, we'd love to get those answered, so make sure, leave those in the comment section below. To grab one of these or to see the other helmets that Fox does offer, click on the link or head over to RockyMountATVMC.com. We ship for free over 75 bucks. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and stay up to date. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.